Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath and uh, uh, in the subject of biostatistics and research methodology, today we will see the data graphics, data graphics like Bahubali and all is there, no? how they are showing in the movie. Here, the data, what is there in your hand that you have to show in the graphics. Okay, how we have to show in the graphic. If you are seeing simply a data, nobody will see the movie. Okay, there should be some graphics. Okay, without graphics, no movie is there. That's why the present, what you have data in your hand and what are the various methods are there. That is, uh, we are going to be seeing. This is unit two in biostatistics and formally you will get here 2.1, 2.2, 2.3. Here 2.2 data graphics as per your pharmacy council of India. But it is there uh, for B pharmacy, M pharmacy, pharma D for all the courses for pre PhD also data graphics. Construction and labeling of uh, graphics, how to label, how to construct. See nowadays Microsoft computer system is there. Uh, Excel sheet we are using uh, there uh, all the data you can be used. It was there in my how to construct a graph that I have shown in my video how to construct a calibration curve. Calibration curve it was there in my playlist channels playlist you just watch it how to construct a graph how to construct a calibration curve Excel sheet is important here. So data graphic construction and label x axis what is label y axis what is label. Okay, and what is the name of the graph? That and all, uh, we can see the graphs. Uh, these points they have given graphs, histograms, pie charts, scatter plots, semi logarithmic plots. That is the point we will see. Okay, these are the various uh, graph. How which which you feel better that you can present those who like that. So many many possibilities are there that I will explain you. Here, mainly you can see this is a column graph. Just like a, the same slides you can observe in the presentation of data, how you are going to be present. It was there in the first chapter. Okay, presentation of data. The almost same, both are almost same, not exactly. Okay, see column graph. Vertical bars, you can see vertical columns, you can see. When it is, it was horizontal, you can say it is a bar. Okay, that point and the, all these you can present. See now you'll see one by one graphs as per your syllabus graphs, histograms, pie charts, scatter plots, semi logarithmic plots. We will see a column graphs. It is a simplest type, almost simplest type of the graphics. The variable is we are taking on x axis and observations we are taking on y axis. That is a very common. Okay, the straight lines we are going to be draw straight lines vertically column lens and proportional to the frequencies the thickness of a column are not uh, important but lens are important height is very very important how much height you are showing even uneducated person also he is able to see the graph and he will uh, tell he will he will become a uh, and he will become to give an answer to you if that is height very height and it is very good okay like that and these are the column uh, types are there simple column divided column that we will see now one by one we will see percentage column percentage we are using here divided column is divided here column we are showing in a percentage wise multiple column multiple column that we will see now this is the column graphs vertical 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 that you have to keep wherever column is there there you can this see the vertical okay one two three four five Three, four, five, six, seven are there. So, which is the highest? Easily you can tell. Instead of seeing the number, if you write in a graph, it is very easy. See, second and third are equal. These are the highest than the others. And first and fourth are equal. Fifth, sixth, uh, seventh are equal, like that. Two multiple columns. See, two are there, side by side is there. If you are giving it, you can also give a data like this. That's why it is called a multiple multiple two see two is there. each time you can see that two okay like this three multiple columns see here three is there three is there three is there three is there that's why it is a more than one that's why you are calling as a multiple two multiple three multiple 
four also you can do divided graphs see each graph each column each column is divided into four one two three four one two three four here one two three four is not there in this i like that okay each column you are dividing there each column side by side you are giving yeah see here see the difference between a three multiple column versus three divided column this is a three multiple and here see same thing three divided column 1 2 3 1 okay and cone cone column type column means vertical cone shape is there no that's why we are say shape we are changing whatever shape you want you can uh, get it it was there in the uh, excel sheets okay two multiple cone columns are there okay two multiple cone columns two divided cone column each column divided by two three multiple this is uh, change you change it is three multiple not divided okay the spelling mistake you correct it bar graphs it is the simplest type of graphs variable x axis y axis and observations on x axis like that changing you are changing compared to the column graphs it is the opposite one like that horizontal lines okay bars are drawn vertically proportional to the frequencies it is also same type simple bar divided bar uh, percentage bar okay multiple bar see this is a bar graphs okay and two multiple bar graphs two side by side is there no two okay two divided bar percentage what is percentage means equal length we will equalize the length all the things we will equalize see here end is also same okay end is the same then you can say it is a percentage okay all are 100% only like that but inside varies different colors and all two multiple three divided percentage graph see how many characters are there percentage is one character two multiple see side by side two multiple is there and also three divided each bar is divided into three one two three two multiple percentage like that cone bar cone shape you can say shape is different two multiple cone bar side by side column versus histogram that is a difference between the column versus the gap between that there is a two columns then you can say it is a column if there is no gap all are side by side then you can say it is a histogram okay in histograms there should be a no gap between the two columns and histogram i will show you where is a histogram yeah here you can see this is the histogram this you can keep in your mind no gap between one column this is the difference between a uh, this one and this one okay that is a column shape and histogram and you are writing a one curve you can draw here like this see are you able to see the line curve this is called a histogram okay yeah this is a line graphs a time series you can see this is a line a line is there no are you able to see the line a line simple line graph these are the line graphs like dissolution studies uh, formulation 1 formulation 2 3 4 5 6 formulations this dissolution is very slow this is very fast first one okay the tunnel uh, explanation you can say line graphs a time series like this line okay and histogram this was i have shown now histogram like this histogram you had to see there itself yeah next is pie charts graphs is over now pie charts see pie charts uh, uh, proportion see here proportion of do not eating professors by weight class like this instead of column we are using a pie charts 
okay how many professors are eating a donut okay actually this is not a donut shape this is a circle shape donut shape graph is also there this is called a donut presentation center hole is there just like vada okay then you can say it is a donut whereas this is a circle type okay how many professors are eating the donuts like that we did some survey and we are this is called a bond graphs one over another one this is this this okay one over the other this over the other like that scatter plot scatter it was there in your syllabus scatter plots only markers this is called as a scatter plot see here scatter plot. no line we are not doing any only dots put the dots and leave it that's it only marker see here there is a positive correlation is there for x axis and y axis there is positive correlation here negative correlation if you are increasing x axis y value decreasing here if you are increasing x axis y value is increasing like a positive correlation this is a negative correlation like that you will get uh, no correlation here you cannot correlate the x axis and y axis okay like that many things are but scatter plots only dots that's it semi log we are generally we are using a log uh, log paper this is already you know very well semi these points you have to write in uh, exam 1 10 to the power of 10 100 1000 10000 one lakh like that you have a semi logarithm graphs okay this is also semi log plots when the values uh, normal graph is not sometimes normal graph is not sufficient to put the numbers such a case you can go for semi log logarithm plot and okay i will end here this is more than enough for your uh, pharmacy course more than enough right and thank you i will end uh, the session here